So this is my bridge. This is just the lines, though. Remember, I want to give this some actual thickness, some depth to it, to make it an actual 3D model. So what I'm going to use is this offset tool. And if there's ever a tool and you're not sure what it does, if you just hover your mouse over it, it will give you a description of what it is and how to use it. So what the offset tool, tool does is it duplicates a selected sketch geometry and offsets it from the original. What that means is if I take a line and click on it, it's going to make a parallel line that is a certain distance away. So I'm using an eighth of an inch material for the balsa wood, so I'm going to come over here and make it an eighth of an inch thick. So I click that line and I can go through, I can type in 0.125 and hit enter and that's going to give me an eighth of an inch. Another thing I can do is I can click that line, bring it up, and I can type in 1 over 8 and hit enter. And that's going to automatically calculate to give me an eighth of an inch. So I want to come around and do that with all of these. So 1 eighth, click on it, 1 eighth, or remember 0.125, same thing, fractions and decimals. So this gives me that bridge, same thing, but I have an eighth of an inch all the way around. If I zoom in, you can see I've got all these extra little lines that I don't need. I don't want those there. So to get rid of those, remember I've got the trim tool. I can click on what I don't need. And so you can see it's going to delete from this point down to that point. So delete everything I don't need. So I get a nice little structure right there. Remember, zoom out. Or on my mouse wheel, if I click the scroll wheel and bring that down, that's that pan tool. So let's go down. And I'm going to trim everything I don't need. And I'm just, I'm just dragging it over. So that looks good. That should be a nice outline right there. When I'm done drawing, hit this finish sketch up here. So this is what my two-dimensional object should look like. Again, this is just my template. You need to make your own. So that should be this. All the dimensions should be correct. And then hit Finish Sketch. Now I can make it three-dimensional. So you might see it zooms in right there. Remember, I can hit this little magnifying glass to zoom to the window, or I can zoom in and out how I like. You notice it brings it at a weird angle. Give me an isometric view. I can also just click on the cube up here to make it flat again, or to get it at a different angle. So you can see, looking at it from the side, there's no depth to that. So that's what we need to do now. We've got our two-dimensional drawing that we need to make three dimensions. So for that, you're going to use these Create tools up here and this Extrude tool. So what it does is you take your object and it essentially pulls it into three dimensions. So if I click on extrude, I click somewhere in my space that I want to extrude out. So if I click on it, it's going to give me a little sample of what it could look like if I just left it alone. So I can bring it out forward, I can push it backward, I can make it go both ways, and I can make it go both ways at two different distances. So let's just bring it over and I want this to be an eighth of an inch. So again, 0.125 inches. Hit enter. So that should be my truss design right there. I've got a three-dimensional truss using eighth of an inch by eighth inch also. 
So that is the side. That's your part. So we're going to be using that to make our bridge. So go ahead and save that. So remember, go to File, Save As. Hit Save As. Remember, to save it to your H drive and give it a name. So H drive, bridges. I already have one right here. Bridge sample side dot part. So hit save. 